My name is James. Hi, James. I am a telepath from the colony. Thank you for coming through. Uh, tell me what you learned. What's the most important thing you can, you know, have only a few minutes, but whatever you can, you can. The most important thing I would say about the human colonies is that we're learning who we are dealing with. Mm -hmm. We're learning what we are dealing with mm -hmm. and how advanced they are and that they are allies and not foes. Mm -hmm. So my interaction with these two mm -hmm. was difficult I because see. we have different kinds of telepathy. Okay. I have human telepathy and he has human telepathy. We were able to speak, but it was challenging. Okay. So just as it is being here is sort of challenge. Do you have trust in them now? Yes, I trust them. They tr they estimated my trust level at 93%. Okay. Which is high. Okay. There, we, at being human, have always a little bit of doubt, no matter what. How are the Pleiadians? Can, we, can it, you know, how are, are, you, are they friends? Yes, they are friends. They seem to be condescending. Is it your feeling? It is just their way. Mm -hmm. It's just the way they are. Are they nice? I wouldn't call them nice. Are they committed to help? They're committed to help, yes. They're very blunt. Mm -hmm. But yet, I've learned to be very blunt in return. Uh -huh. Because if you are not, they're insulted that you are not being totally honest with them. Very good. Mm -hmm. So they prefer you be almost hostile with them. So ah. It's like, so come on, tell me what you want. So. Wow. And they respect that. But it's not in an angry way. Uh -huh. mm. They just want you to be totally clear, not vague, and not wishy-washy. How about Lyrans? How many Lyrans involved? I know Tukur, mm -hmm. and she has some associates. There uh -huh. are like seven Lyrans. Do you like them? On the Lyrans are quite beautiful people, actually. Are they? Do they look sexy in any way? Um, not to me. Okay. <laughs> not to me. Mm -hmm. She looks like a big kitty cat. <laughs> uh -huh. In some ways. Uh -huh. Not really, but that's the closest you can okay. get. Okay. So are they allies with the Earth? Would they help? Oh, yes. The, the Lyrans are actually one of the most sympathetic. Uh-huh. For I have no idea why, but they seem to be the most caring and they do have it's difficult for them to talk to Pleiadians because they are even though their voices are deep, they're very they're not real harsh at times. So Star Trek is a nice reference point. What is different from Star Trek over there? Star Trek. Yeah. Oh yes, I, I really never watched it very much. Oh, so it's not a good reference point. But what what new did they learn? What new did I yeah the science? Fiction. Oh, there's much science. They can they can uh, personalize your tools, meaning that all your electronic ma machinery and equipment will only respond to you if that's what you want. I mean, you can it it's by they can do it five or ten different ways. Your eyes, your voice patterns, your breath, your, you know, just your fingerprints. There's so many things, but if I have a group of tools here that I'm not allowed to use, I won't be able to use them. Uh, uh, do you have your heel around? Or? I've, I met with several you yes. They can channel Jesus. They can channel Jesus, but I am not been given that. Okay. That. Anybody? It's good to see the earth again, though. Oh, you're not seeing it much? Well, it's, I've been here, they've prolonged my stay. I've been here a month. 
Mm. Uh -huh. That's the longest anyone has ever been off planet. How does uh, it feel? Except for the one gentleman that is actually permanently off planet. How does it feel out there? It's not what? uncomfortable, but yet it's alien. When you meet aliens in the in the corridor, how do they behave? They're usually just nod. They're what? Sorry. Nod. Usually just nod. Oh, nod. And and sometimes they will interact. Do they look scary? There are a couple species that are not good to look at. Yes. Did you see insectoids there? Insectoids, yes. There's one there, yes. And I really, he is really quite hard to look at. Uh, are Anun have you ever met Anunnaki? Anunnaki, no. Reptoids? No. Uh, how does Orion look? Does he look like a, a, a human? An Orion? The orange guy? Orion? No, he would be an alien, like uh, maybe Swedish, from the one from Orion. Oh. He was part of the colony. He oh, introduced yes. the the, the, uh, the yeah. police in the colony. He doesn't. He looks fairly human in some way. Yeah, most ways. How His eyes are a little bigger. What's the impression of Orions in general? Well, this particular Orion is different from what I understand. He's they like him. More, he's more human friendly, more uh, species friendly, whereas the Orions can be hostile. Is he good? Do, he, yes, do you like the, their appearance? He is a way. refugee. He's, he escaped somehow from uh, the Orion uh, area. So in general, we could communicate with Orion, individual Orions, maybe? I, could, I couldn't talk very well with him. I did speak with him for a few minutes. Oh, only a few minutes. But, uh, but from what I understand from my briefings, the briefings that they give you before you go into these meetings, they tell you a little bit about everybody and they tell you a little bit about what we're going to be discussing. Give, give this some thought, give that some thought, you know, that kind of thing. How is Nina? Nina is a very excellent leader. Uh huh. So. Is she pretty? She's beautiful. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, she's beautiful. Who is most accessible of aliens on the on the on the colony? Which species? Me. Uh, oh, well, Nina. Other than Nina. Oh, Yuyil. So you can get in hold a hold of Yuyil and uh, speak to them. Yes, if I want to speak to Yuyil, they will they will come. Yeah, or I'll go there. So. And children are dealing with which aliens? Children, what? Children, are, uh, with which aliens are children dealing? The first colony has lots of children, right? Right. What aliens are they talking to? They're talking to you, you. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Uh, they they don't talk to Pleiadians. They're too harsh mm -hmm. for children. But they there is a Lyran that they talk to as well. So you yell are like ba good babysitters, right? You yell, no, the parents, the whatever parent figure is there. Mm -hmm usually takes care of their kids. But the yellow kind, are they? Yeah, they're kind. Mm -hmm. They're gentle, yes. Gentle. They're very gentle. Can and that makes them very good with the kids because they look a little bit like E.T. So, uh -huh. you know, um, if they show the movie E.T. to them first. Oh, so you're referring to that movie of, of Spielberg? Yeah, they show them the movie E.T. Uh -huh. so they won't be as frightened when they meet. Excellent. So, What's the difference from E.T.? How are you different from E.T.? They're a little taller. Uh-huh. At least this... Is the face this longer? Um, they, they pretty much look um, like you would see on anything on the internet of you, you know. A gray? Yeah, the grays. With, with a smooth face? Yes. Oh. Do they show any miracles? Any of them can disappear at once? Oh, yeah, they disappear all the time. But the, the thing is about that, it's a particular place that they disappear. It's, there's a, a spot in the room where they move from dimension to dimension or uh -huh. from time to time or whatever it is. But it's a, a location. Mm -hmm. They have to be there. So. Are they telekinetic, any of them? Uh, they have not shown me that, but I'm sure they are. Can they control minds of humans just by mind? I'm sure they could, but they don't try to. They're trying to be very open. Any other miracles you saw? I saw the some uh, pretty interesting machinery doing some pretty Have interesting Have you done things. field trips to other planets? <coughs> no. <coughs> That's disappointing. Did you ask for it? Is this water? Yes, please yes. go ahead. 
Yes. They are both the same. It's difficult for me to be here. I'm sorry. Yes. But that is very helpful. That's the first Thank contact you. we have. <coughs> Please come <up> more <coughs> often. That's so helpful. I have to go now. Thank you much. Appreciate your visit. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.